Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Dr. Lasker. I'm a consultant radiologist and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, why not? It's the best YouTube channel out there. Uh, and even better if you're into radiology or even medicine in general, because I go through tutorials and all that kind of thing. But this video is to try and answer a very specific question that someone has asked me. Why did I choose to do MSK radiology? Right, so some of you may be medical students and you think, I wanna be a doctor, great. And then you get out of medical school and someone's like, yeah, 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 but what kind of doctor you really wanna be? And you think, all right, I mean, I was just happy being a doctor. No, you gotta choose a subspecialty now. Do you wanna be a surgeon? Do you wanna be a medic? Do you wanna do something else? Pathology, radiology, any of those other things. There are so many branches of medicine they can go into, so I chose radiology. So once I go into radiology, all of a sudden someone's like, yeah, but what kind of radiology do you wanna be? And I'm like, uh, uh, this is too much. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hold up, I was happy being a radiologist. Now you're telling me what kind of radiologist do I want to be? I mean, how complicated can this get? Evidently, it can get really, really complicated because there are so many branches within radiology itself. There's pediatric radiology, gastro radiology, all sorts of other radiologists. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown as to some of the subspecialties and why I didn't choose them. So first of all, most people who come into radiology think they're gonna be an interventional radiologist or say they're gonna be an interventional radiologist, and why not? It looks cool. Yeah, you know, you're getting a wire, you're shoving into the most obscure places and you're saving people's lives potentially or saving limbs. Uh, Neurointerventional radiology is very much in the same vein. That's the joke. So the, so the thing is, with those subspecialties, it's very, very hands-on and people think, yeah, but you know, that's what I want. I want to be hands-on. But actually, it's not the only kind of radiology that is hands-on. Doing what I do, which is musculoskeletal radiology, I'm hands-on, I've got my needle, I've got my steroid, I've got a joint. A little, uh, little shy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see what I mean? Oh, if you do breast radiology, ah, here's an ultrasound, here's a needle, let's go for it. Chest radiology, ah, oh, there's a tumor, I can do a biopsy of it, let's stick them in the CT scanner, here's a needle, and... So you see what I mean? Like most radiology will have a interventional aspect to it. So saying that you just wanna use your hands a lot is not really answering the question as to why you want to do interventional radiology. So anyway, interventional radiology is very, very kind of cool. Uh, you are doing lots of cool stuff in a big fancy room with LEDs on. But that's the thing, right? It's very, very physical work, especially as you get older and older. You know, I don't want to be wearing LEDs. I don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night trying to sort out some kind of bleeder. And also the stakes, they're so high. I mean, when I was thinking about neurointervention, I thought, okay, that sounds kind of cool. Maybe I should do that. And the consultant said, yeah, but you know what? When things go wrong, they go really wrong. Like you've either, you know, someone's passed away or you've debilitated them. And I thought, ooh, forget that. I don't trust myself making a cup of coffee at the best of times. So I ain't doing that. So that was out, like waking up, high stakes game, not interested. And then you've got pediatric radiology and kids are lovely, right? I mean, I've got kids, which annoy me most of the time. Sprinkle. But when they're sick and unwell, it's a different thing to take. I don't know how people do it. And I really rate anyone that can look after kids who are ill uh, as a day job. Like I really, I just couldn't take it. It was very, um, it just took a lot out of me, right? It just really took a lot out of me. And I was only doing the imaging, let alone actually meeting the patients and, you know, talking to the parents. Like, just knowing that this patient was young was, was too much for me. Breast radiology was kind of cool, but in the UK anyway, we've got triple assessment clinics, you've got to see the patients a lot. And as I might have told you, I'm not really into talking to that many people if I can help it. And, um, you know, you kind of have to be hands-on. You've, you've got to do these like assessment clinics like once or twice a week. Um, and I just thought that's not really something I'm interested in. And that, I kind of lumped uh, breast radiology and gynecology, uh, the same kind of thing for me. I just wasn't interested in, in that kind of medicine personally. Um, gastro, gastro radiology seemed kind of cool, but the bowel moves everywhere. Literally, you know, the cecal pole can move up and then a sigmoid colon can move up and these move all over. The I don't know, do they just get bored inside the body or something and think, you know what, I'm moving. I don't like you and then move off and end up in trouble. So I just thought, you know what, like, at least with the head, yeah, it's only in one place. You scan through it with the knees, the elbows, whatever. If the knee is not where it's meant to be, you're probably looking at a trauma scan. I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> Oh, 
So because of that, how much it moves and the amount of surgery that can go on in those situations, I just thought, no, it's just too complicated. It takes too long. Scans take too long for me. And any kind of enemas or any kind of putting contrast into somewhere where you've actually got to physically see the patient and put contrast into them and take more pictures, no, no, not interested. And then, so to cut a long story short, I eventually ended up going to Moscow Skeletal Radiology. And genuinely, this is the first time in my life, and maybe this is as a result of the seniors that I had, but it was the first time in my life where I left and I thought, I wouldn't mind going back there. That was actually quite fun. I love you. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, especially sports related injuries, which is something I want to do, but end up actually doing a whole load of crumbly old, you know, hips and stuff like that. But um, the, the thing is like the knees don't move anywhere. The knees, the knee, where's it going to go? Hips don't move anywhere. The hips are, are the hip. If it moves somewhere, then you're looking at something a bit more serious. Uh, when something gets a little bit complicated, like there's some sort of weird tumor, there's an entire subspecialty of musculoskeletal radiology that has to deal with that. So you'd say, being a generalist that I am, would be like, well, this needs to be referred to a sarcoma center and they're going to do a biopsy and that kind of thing. So then, so if something gets a bit too complicated with a tumor or something like that, you just hand it across to the experts. I mean, they're experts, that's what they like to do. Not my department. And then the stakes weren't as high when you're looking at this kind of thing. I mean, yeah, there is a bit of like debilitation and all that kind of stuff, but in reality, you're not dealing with a stroke. You're not dealing with aortas bursting. You're not dealing with any of that stuff. I mean, we're talking about a bit of pain in the hips and knees, et cetera, et cetera. So the stakes weren't so high. Now, a bit more personally to me is I'm quite into exercise. I mean, I, I, you probably can't tell, but I do like to go to the gym. I do like to keep myself health and healthy and fit. And it just appeals to that side of me. I've been reading about, you know, health and nutrition for, for decades. And so um, now all of a sudden I can make it a subspecialty of my own job to learn about, you know, the tendons, the joints, the, the way injuries can look on imaging. I mean, this was just brilliant. And this is, this is for me. And so, um, and in future wise, there's a lot of work that's coming this way because people are getting older, they're gonna have hip pain, shoulder pain, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, for the time being anyway, that's still a musculoskeletal radiology job to be able to sort out. Um, so yeah, I, for me anyway, that's why I chose musculoskeletal radiology. Lifestyle was good. The stakes weren't so high. If things got too complicated, I'd pass it on. And also it kind of appealed to the nature, the side of me that was very interested in health and nutrition and basically gym training. So I hope that helps someone out there because someone did ask me, why did I choose musculoskeletal radiology? And they needed to make that choice themselves. So yeah, I hope that's useful. And for those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, it is clearly the best radiology channel and best YouTube channel out there. Um, if you are interested, you can check out my channel sponsors, Collective Minds Radiology. They are helping me a whole load of educational content, which you'll be able to find videos on. And also do check out my own podcast, which is called Two Medics, which I run with a very good friend of mine called Therusha Goodwardner. We've both got a specialist interest in social media, which is what that entire podcast is about. So do check it out if you've got some time. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for subscribing. We've had so many new people join the channel. And um, yeah, keep asking me questions and I'll answer them as best and as quickly as I can. Thank you so much. Speak to you soon. Bye.